Hey, are you open-minded to me sharing with you one of my top tools that I use called the One Minute Miracle? Now, it's called the One Minute Miracle because a lot of things can happen in one minute. And when you understand what to do and you have the proper tool, you literally can take a situation that you might find less than favorable or stressful or just downright terrible. You can use this simple technique to really reverse that pattern and really shift it to get back on the and really get back in the game rather than being on the sideline of your life. So if you're open minded to me sharing this with you, just comment, I'm open minded. And here's the next thing. So the most important thing you could possibly understand, this is gonna sound really mundane, but it's really important about your breath. Because your breath, obviously we need it to live because we would die without, but there's a lot more to it than that. Breathing, when it's done correctly, meaning with the conscious breath, breathing in from your heart with the proper mindset and intention, you literally can take a situation and you can turn it around really quick. So with your permission, I'm going to share with you a couple things that I use really quick that you can use at any point in time. Now, my goal is to do five to seven one-minute breathers a day. I've got an Apple Watch that will track uh, my breathing, which means it'll track my pulse, and I can usually push that little button on there and it'll do a little breathing exercise with me. But I do a lot of stuff on coherence, meaning a lot of my high performers that I work with, really all of them, We'll do a lot of stuff with heart math, which is a technology that'll measure your brain and your heart coherence waves so you can tell when you're in chaos or coherent. And let me ask you this. If you could determine when you were in chaos and you had a tool to shift into coherence, can we agree that it's going to give you much more power to create the desired outcomes that you have in your life, right? Of course. So here's a little simple little instruction. So here's the little one minute miracle. And you can do this for a minute, you can do this for seven minutes, you could do this for one conscious breath and it'll change your state. Because today I had some stressful stuff pop up last night and it cost me a pretty good amount of sleep. And today it took me a long time to get back into the game and I just got back into my game because I just got out of doing yoga. Yoga's all about your breath, okay? So with that being said, well, I'm going to share with you a couple things really quick that you can do now. So number one, check in with yourself. Are you breathing from your chest or from your stomach? If you're breathing from your chest, excuse me, if you're breathing from your chest, that means you're in fight or flight or freeze. Not great to live there. Sometimes it's important because that's really what keeps us safe or keeps us alive. But a lot of times the past experiences or stressors that we used to have when we were being feared by eating getting eaten by wild animals and dinosaurs and stuff like that that's no longer available but our body doesn't decipher or know the difference between a stress that's irrational or rational our body still responds makes sense so it could be stress from work it could be a relationship it could be a challenge you had your conversation with your husband or your wife or maybe you're a uh, split and you're having a challenge communicating with your co-partner in the past and it's creating issues for you this breath work will allow you to change your state and the beauty of it is is you can also influence other people when you're in this high state okay so here you go so what i think about doing is i literally think about taking my mouth and my nose off my face and put it right here on my left on my left chest which is my heart okay now the importance of this is, is it's going to get you out of your head and it's going to get you breathing through your heart so if i think about having my mouth and my nose off my face on my heart and i take a breath through my heart it's automatically going to get out of my head and it's going to put me into my body. Now, the next little addition to that is if I think about smiling from my heart, it's automatically going to put me into a state of appreciation and gratitude. When I can do that, things will drastically change. Because when you're in a state of appreciation and gratitude, you can't be in fear. If you're looking to elevate your mood, shift into appreciation and gratitude. If you're looking to get out of a bad mood and get into a good mood or get out of fear and into courage and faith, Use your breath to shift that. Very simple. Could be for a minute, like I said, a, a minute of breathing. So here's a count for you. You could easily do five to seven seconds in, like <sighs> breathing from your nose and your heart. You could hold it for five to seven seconds, and then you can exhale for five to seven seconds. The timing is really depending upon you. Maybe if you're just starting out, maybe it's a three-second breath. Maybe if you're a bit more winded, it's a five to second to maybe a 10-second breath. That part's totally up to you. But the important part to remember is if you think about this, I love this phrase, I choose to make this fun and easy. God, that's helpful for me. That probably, thanks to my coach, one of them, that's one of the most profound, simple 
one degree adjustments that I use to consistently reclaim my power and to consistently help myself maneuver the things of life to stay in a good mood and to keep my attitude appreciative so I can stay in the world of wonder where all the magic happens because I'm operating in a better space of being in coherence here and now. Okay, so let me know if that makes sense. That's what I call the one minute miracle. Now you could do a one breath miracle and just be conscious of your breath. When you're breathing in your heart, follow your breath in your heart with your mind and then follow it out your breath with your mouth. And that's important. When you're breathing in your nose or you're breathing in, that's your sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight or freeze. When you breathe out like... That's parasympathetic. And the slower you go out, the calmer your nervous system will be. So just try that out. Simple. God, it's amazing. It's so simple that most people don't pay it enough attention because they don't have any idea of how potent it actually is. So let me know if that makes sense. If it did, please share it. If you got some questions, please share it. And I'll be glad to help you. I'll be glad to help you out. Have an amazing day. And remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Bye.